Hey y'all, Iron here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to build a house made of ice and a house built of mud. That's right, we're playing House Builder, and it is a game where we build houses of different kinds around the world. Very interesting game, so let's hop in and I'll show you guys how much fun this is. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here, and looks like we're up above Canada here, and we're going to be building an igloo. Oh, I like the pictures, that's very nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Sledgehammer. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now we're in. All right. Hope the weather doesn't scare you off. It's a tough job. The more you do it, the more you learn, basically. The more mechanics there are. Okay. So, oh, dog. Can we pet the dog? Oh, why can't we, we can't pet the dog or give it a treat? That's not fair. All right. So it looks like we need to pick up ice blocks. All right. So hold uh, left click and put it there. Okay. Uh, so where do we go? Oh. Oh, we gotta get a knife. Okay. Uh, pretty dangerous giving me a knife, but we're just gonna run with it. Oh, okay. So it looks like it's a little blurry, but it's basically telling us that we can cut out ice blocks and eventually it runs out of ice for us to work on. So let's go ahead and see here. Okay, not too bad. Looks like I just have to trace it. And it looks like if I press E, it just picks up the block. Oh, we already learned this skill. Well, that's interesting. Uh, let's see. Oh, we get two times the blocks. So when you cut, you get two times... Okay. Well, that'll help us, because I... this is going to be pretty big. <laughs> Alright, so let's trace it. Hey, two blocks. There we go. Perfect. Oh, and when you press E, it picks up both at once. That's perfect. Alright, uh, we'll set these down then. Alright, let's get some more cutting in then. Now, this is not for the faint of heart. I don't want you to lose a finger or anything. Oh, what's this saying? Oh, that's weird. We already learned skills. Alright. So you can see our igloo is already shaping up. Although I have to imagine I'm freezing out here. It looks like I'm wearing a cardigan and some very light gloves. I'm not much of a live up in the North Pole type person, so I don't know if this is suitable for me or not. Oh, oh, okay. So if you do not care, oh, this is empty. All right. So we'll put these down, and then... Where's the ice at? Wait. Is there one back here? Oh, okay. The bonfire's dying. Alright, so we gotta... Oh, okay, so that's kind of... Oh! I didn't mean to throw three in at once, but... I think we're okay. Alright, well, let's get back to cutting ice blocks then. Oh, yeah, so I was just about to say, I don't, sometimes that gets a little finicky when you're trying to trace that ice block there. And that's not fun. All right. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, but yeah, I should just kind of grab these and keep cutting and then go and put them away. All right, so let's do this and then we'll, oh, okay, it's empty. All right, let's go throw these back on here then. Uh, yep, there we go. Oh, new skill available. Uh, what's this? It allows you to walk and run. Oh, walk and run 30% faster. Okay. Alright, uh, let's put these blocks down. And I guess I got a new skill again. Uh, let's just get these blocks down and then I'll take a peek. Alright, uh, we can cut six times more blocks. Hey, okay. Well, that'll make this a lot quicker. Um, I need to find more ice, though. Oh. Alright, so let's get this cut out, then. Slowly in... Oh. oh. Alright. I'm cooking with fire now. There we go. Well, this will definitely make it faster. Um, alright, let's just keep... Ah. 
that's so finicky. <laughs> I wish it wasn't that finicky, but it can... If you stray off course too much. I wonder how many blocks we're going to get out of this total. We got the 30 already? Okay. 36. Oh, this is like a non-stop. This is like the deepest ice crater ever. All right, we have 48, so let's go ahead and slap those on. Now, oh, new scale. Oh, 15 times more blocks. Okay. Um, one thing I don't like is I can't, uh, I can't drag these across to put them on. I have to manually click every single one, which is exhausting. I'm just rapidly clicking my left mouse button trying to put these. Now I do like the green block showing you where to put them. Yeah. Okay, let's just uh, put a little more wood on, keeping it warm for me and my doggy. I don't know, what should we name our dog? Like, uh, I'm trying to think of a quick name. Sam? Sammy? I'll do Sammy. Sammy the dog. Oh, jeez. All right. Okay, so that was a lot of blocks at once. All right, we'll just keep slapping these in. But yeah, like I was saying, I wish there was a uh, something to speed this up so I could just hold the button down and kind of rapid fire. And I got to find more ice somewhere. I don't know where to find it. It's not here. And then this is one I already did. Oh. Okay, we found some more over here. Perfect. Um, oh, don't be finicky. Come on. No. Um, I, I'm an adult. I can draw in between. Why is this one empty all of a sudden? I got 14 blocks out of it. It was empty. All right. Um, yeah, I'm an adult. I can draw in between the lines. That is not... We can do this. Okay, that was quite a bit. Slowly. There we go. Now, I find it interesting that we're using an ice. Or an ice. I find it interesting we're using a knife uh, to cut the ice blocks out. It doesn't, it seems like it'd be kind of hard to do, but I'm going to assume this is somewhat accurate. I know it's not totally accurate, house builder, but. I have to assume they did a little bit of research and said, hey, this is kind of how they did it back in the day. All right, so we keep getting this plus two for every block we put down. Which is nice. Except for the whole having... Oh! Okay, well, I guess we did that and... That was it. <laughs> the main dome is done. All right, uh, more fire. I don't think anything changed. I think I just got to keep working on the dome. Yeah, I checked the task list. There's nothing else to do, so. I just keep on working on building this house. Now... It's very important to realize that it's easier to stand inside the middle and do it. I think I've been doing it the slow way the whole time. And I'm very slow to catch on. Um, Alright, uh, we need more blocks. No ladders or anything, so I have to... I'm going to probably have to jump on top of it. Uh, in the meantime, we got to grab some more ice blocks. Just empty this one out again, too. I hope there's enough. You don't think it's... No, it's not a limit. I don't think they limit the resources to the point where you can't finish building it. Oh. I didn't grab that stack in time. It went everywhere. All right. Jeez. They really put some physics on these blocks. They just want to run away from you if you're not fast enough. Right. 
pick up my mess of, oops, all isoblocks or something like that. Run around and picking those up. All right. And then we'll warm the fire up just a little bit, get inside, and get building. Now our dome's coming along pretty nicely here. Should work on the bottom layer first, though, instead of... Oh, it takes a second for it to be like, hey, you can build here. How many blocks have we put here so far? I feel like we've done hundreds already. <laughs> like, it's non-stop. All right, all right. And I can note that there's snow falling on my head as I put these... Or, like, ice chunks. Probably give me a concussion or something. All right, uh, on the search for more ice. Where's all the ice? Here it is. Carefully draw your pixel off. It'll immediately tell you stop cutting and redo it all. Look at that. Hey, look at that. Able to grab them now before they all fall off. Like a uh, machine gun with my hands. Ah, da, 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 da. Oh, this one's empty. Okay. Well, let's r see here. Looks like we're almost done. So let's go ahead and get the blocks back out. While I'm getting hit in the head with shards of ice. I love the sounds as you do it. Oh. Alright, main dome is ready. Um, okay, okay. Oh, there's a shop? Alright, I can buy other exterior and interior. And looks like that's about it. I don't think I need those. I'm not under attack or am I crafting? And I don't know what I'm going to tan besides the dog, so... And that's not happening. We're not going to be tanning dog eyes. <laughs> so we'll just leave those alone. Oh, what's up, bud? Oh, is it getting cold? I'm sorry. Oh, Sammy. I'm so sorry. Alright, uh... we have enough to finish this? Alright, let's just toss these on. I hope we have enough. Oh, hey, we finished it! Great! All right, what's this say? So we did it in 11 minutes, 14 seconds, 546 experience, I assume that's what it is. We walked 186 meters, and I think that's 260 blocks. Okay. And we got five stars. I mean, I am technically a five-star builder. Uh, I am a master class uh, what, architect, engineer, something like that. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started on the next house and see what we got. All right, so it looks like we have a mud house in Africa. Yep. All right, so we'll go ahead and get that started up. Talking about hand saws. That's cool. All right. Uh, another challenge awaits. Hungry lion. Okay. Uh, so let's see. We got to pick up the... What's that? Yeah. We'll got to pick up the stone for now. And put it here. Okay. All right, if I press Z, it should show me where things are. Oh, okay. It's highlighting all the stones. What's this? I don't know yet. Bunch of zero percents. But that's okay. All right, so I guess we need to run around and pick up a bunch of stones. Now, they're all around here, so... We will quickly just try to grab them all and start placing them down. But I'm scared about how many we'll need. Because <laughs> that, if this is house is just pure, well, it said it's going to be mud. But is it going to be like a stone wall that we plaster it with mud? Because if so, that's going to be pretty, it's going to be a lot of stones. We're going to have to open like a quarry or something. Well, let's, uh, let's start building and see what happens. Still got to click manually to put these in here. Not excited about that. Wish I could drag. All right. Uh, 
grab some more stones here. Oh, there's, okay. So it looks like the sense has a range to it. It doesn't show the whole map. It kind of seems to be within a certain distance of you. All right, grab some more rocks here and we're just gonna go slap them in here and see what happens. All right, uh, new skill, let's see. Increases strength by 50%. Uh, throw them. Okay, sounds good. So just carry more rocks, I guess, basically. All right, put these down here. And then we need to find more. Jeez Louise, this is going to be a big house. We're building just rocks. All right, we got four more, so we'll go ahead and finish this up then. You got it. All right, great. Oh, boy. We need sticks. All right, so we'll grab this axe. And looks like we need to cut down these little palm trees. All right, once it's down, we got to cut it into smaller pieces. Okay. Okay. Oh, it gives us some extra stuff too, like a uh, twine or something. Okay, we can work with that. Uh, so, oh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, get my sticks out. And it looks like I just need sticks right now. Nothing for this twine or vine material. All right. Uh, so I guess we'll just cut down more trees. And I'm kind of scared. Are we going to have to deforest the entire place just to build this one house? All right. It looks like if you use your vision too, you can see it, which makes it a little bit easier. All right, grab some more trees here. So we'll go ahead and put them in our building. Now this requires double logs, which is interesting. All right, and that'll wrap up the house. And it looks like we got to start work on the roof. Now it looks like this is a door frame. I'm just noticing now. So I guess that'll be the door into the house. Uh, and we're out of material, so we'll need to chop down some more logs. All right, I grabbed some more logs here and came back. So we'll slap these up here and we got a new skill. All right, this is palm cutter. So we just cut down the palms faster. Okay, that'll help out. So let's put these on and then let's see what else we need to do. Oh, just more logs, easy peasy. Oh, so now we're getting the structure of the house set up, which is really nice. Oh, someone's really happy for us. <laughs> So it looks like these vines are going to come into use now. Looks like we need to put them on. The, oh, okay. So we're just tying the logs together. That's really nice. Nice little attention to detail. Great. All right. That's looking good. He's excited once again. And we need more logs. All right. We're going to have to do a lot of cutting. It's going to be a, it's going to be fun. All right, I got enough logs now to finish the roof, so let's go ahead and get that slapped up there. Oh, new skill available again. All right, uh, faster run and walk. Okay, hey, I'll take it. All right, let's get these in place for the roof. Love the little jingles. There we go. Wrapping it up, there we go. All right, oh, now we got to tie all these up. Okay, well, I need 54. Oh, why does it want me to open up the shop? It's just decorations. Yeah, I don't know why they keep wanting me to open that. That's odd. I'm not even done building the house yet. I got to put up 54 bonds to tie all these logs together. Pretty quick and easy, though. No complaints. Although I will say I miss... I wish there was some type of slide that you could just hold the button down and slide across and put these on, but thankfully it's not that much and they're pretty quick and easy to hit. I will say I had to cut down a lot of trees around here. I'm kind of worried that some kind of environmental agency is going to come for me uh, because I think I took down a ton of trees. All right, uh, so it looks like we're making mud. So, do something with this shovel. All right. Uh, 
have to pick up the wooden shovel. And then wants us to pick up clay. Oh, so is it just right here? Okay. And then we put it in the basket. And then what next? Oh, it looks like we just need to get water. Okay. And it fills up those bars. Okay, that makes sense. Grab that just in case I need it for later. All right, so let's put that in there. And looks like I just click it to make some type of mud mud balls. Okay. Oh, and then you just slap them in there and it makes a brick. Okay, well, we're on to something, huh? Uh, so can I just click on it with anything? Or wait, okay, that's a mud ball. Oh, wait, how do I grab the mud balls? Um, I just go barehanded. Oh, geez. Oh, they're popping out. Okay, uh, you just hold it and put it in there. And, okay. No, I gotta hold the brick. I can't. Okay, oh, wait, wait. I can do it with the brick in my hand. Okay. Um, uh, this is a very, oh, new scale. Uh, what am I missing here? Uh, more brick. Oh, okay. So this will help us make more bricks. I was about to say, I think we need 715 bricks. I don't think doing them one at a time is going to be very helpful. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of work to do here. I hope they make it so I'm getting like 100 per turn for the next skill up. Because if not, then you're looking at a long while to build this house. So let's keep dropping these balls in here and making bricks out of them. You just call me the mud ball master. Making bricks for days. Oh, geez, I didn't want to go over there. Okay. Uh, so that's empty. Looks like I got 9% it can't handle anymore. So let's lay these down. Oh, this is going to be like the igloo again, isn't it? Where... Oh, new scale. Let's take a look. Oh, more bricks. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need this because... Uh, that's a lot of bricks we got to put in there. And the worst part is, I think I'm going to have to individually click all these, which just makes it even worse in my opinion, because that's a lot of bricks. Let alone, oh my gosh, we had to, every time we, okay, it filled a rip to 100%. So hopefully the water does as well, so I have to do this multiple times just to get one batch of bricks ready. Uh, Okay. Let me try to get to my bare hands. There we go. Oh, that's a lot better. What was that, eight bricks? I can run with that. I wonder if I can hopefully force a skill upgrade really quick. Yeah, I don't want to be doing eight bricks at a time. So I'm going to try to push the skills really quick. All right, we've been laying down some bricks for a little bit here. Still trying to force a skill. Hopefully get more bricks. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. Looks like this will give us... Oh, okay. Uh, instead of having to build it brick by brick like the igloo, we get to build it by just holding the button down. Which, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh, this makes life so much better. You can see we got another brick upgrade uh, as well. Uh, so yeah, we are flying through this now. This is going to be a lot easier. Is there... I don't know if there's a limit to how many bricks I can hold, but let's just try to get all these in our inventory. Because this is going to be so nice. Get ready. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that. Now the house is coming together. Oh, and we got a new skill. Uh, okay, so it looks like this is just even faster mud brick lane, which is even better in my opinion. Oh yeah. That is... Oh, it's like playing Minecraft. Now this is beautiful. You just hold the button down and it flies. Oh, there's one, one left in there. That's okay. 
we'll just hang on to that for now. And we'll get some more bricks made really quick. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. This is way faster and way nicer. I got scared that we were going to have to lay over 800 bricks by clicking, but I think uh, somebody over on the dev team realized, oh, okay, and we get a lot more bricks too now. Oh my, how many are we getting? We're getting like 50, 50 something per batch. Okay. Oh, this is going to speed up everything. This is great. Now I'm, oh, I can't even lift. I got too many bricks in my hand. All right. Well, it is time to lay these down and get going. I like how it's saying I'm overloaded, but I'm literally unloading my bricks right now. And that's fine. Probably just a little, little oversight with no problems. Yeah, listen to that. That's sweet tingling. It's music to my ears. I don't have to click my mouse every single brick. I can just hold it down and swipe across. And I mean, our house is coming together quick and nicely now. I'm excited. Oh, get this corner here. Man, if I could lay bricks like this in real life, I'd make some money. They call me the master bricklayer. All right, so let's grab these pallets. And we'll get some more pallets here. All right, so we need about 289 more bricks. Um, I think our limit's just a little under that. Yeah, it is. Okay, not a problem. Uh, we're going to fly now, though, thankfully. So looks like that wall is done. All right, so we got to work on getting this room. All the way up to the roof. Alright, so... Yeah, it looks like we need to work on this wall now. It's the last part holding us up. I'm glad they're not making us lay down some type of cement or... Uh, what, what's the agent they use in between bricks, typically? Uh, I don't remember, but... Yeah, I'm glad we don't have to do anything like that. Oh, look at that. We had 130, and we need 131 bricks, so... <laughs> Unfortunately, we're going to have to make one more big old pallet of them. All right. All the way to the tippy top. All right, so 56 more bricks. Oh, here we go. Perfect. This should wrap us up nicely at this part of the house. There's that one brick I needed. So let's go ahead and whip up another batch. Slap that up there. Okay, so what's this? All right, this is... Oh, firing tiles. Okay. Okay, so we take the mud balls and we put them in a different mold. And then we have this, like, tree trunk here and we light it on fire and put the bricks or the tile mold in there. Okay. Oh, well, that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah, that goes there. Um, let's see, put the wood in here. It's at 33% wood. Oh, jeez. I just wanted one, but I'll take you all if you want to come. CC 6%, and then, well, it can be hotter, yeah. All right, cool. Um, so, let's see, then we, what, we'll put this in here. And... It's at 25%. So, let's grab that. Oh. Okay. Uh, looks like uh, just increasing our strength so we can carry more. Oh, that looked odd for a second. Like it was spewing mud. Um, all right. So, it looks like that was 50%, I think. 75? Okay, so four tiles makes 100%. Alright, perfect. And then, what do I do? Oh, okay, we hit F, and that'll turn on the furnace and start cooking them. And then do they just pop out, or what do we do? We'll see. Maybe it takes a second. Okay. Um. Oh! Well, that's my bad. There's a, there's a, you hit the G button and you can pop the tiles out. And wow, that popped a few out. Uh, we got 12 tiles, which is really nice. Now question, oh, I can't drag them. 
I hope this is a dragon skill. Uh, okay, so this is just more. Alright, unfortunately it wasn't a speed placing skill, so we'll have to uh, just put them in there manually. And so we'll make more mud here. Throw in the water. And then, let's see, we need to make the mud balls. Try to get a free hand here. It's, going to be honest with you, it's it's finicky getting to <laughs> around this bar a little bit. There we go. And just click everything we can. That way we can just start mass producing these. Now, the one thing I don't like is... Um, oh, forgot to grab the second tile. One thing I don't like is that those tiles can't be uh, stashed into our inventory and then put in here. You have to carry them one by one into here. Okay. Uh, oh, and if you look on the left here, it actually shows the bar for cooking. Now that I see that, that makes more sense. All right, so we'll get our tiles out. Not bad, 23. Uh, turn off the furnace, save our wood just in case. Just kind of speed click our way through here. And this is more clay tiles. So let's go ahead and one. Oh, one, two, three. Okay, so it's almost one mud ball per. Uh, rounded tiles, which is nice. I have to slap one more in for now and grab an extra one. And we'll fire them up. And give them, like, what, five seconds or so? Ooh, okay. Ooh, 72 tiles. I am not going to complain about that. I will complain about the ability to put these down quickly. I'm not going to complain about a 72 tiles based off of four, to, uh, four mud tiles in there. It's kind of hard to do from the outside, and so I think it might be easier just to go inside and put these down. All right, new skill. Uh, so once again, just more, more tiles per uh, mud ball, which will finish us up for making tiles with only one mod ball, which will be nice. Alright, keep clicking. Alright, so we're about halfway done here. We just need to finish up like three rows on the one side and then the rest of the other roof. So we'll slap these back in, fire it up, and wait for another round of tiles. And if this doesn't finish the whole thing by now, I'm going to be surprised. Because we only need 126 tiles. 72 on the last round. Let's see what these come out with. Oh, boy. 192 tiles. Okay. Yep, no complaints now. We are done. We just need to... Oh, I had the bricks in my hand, not the tiles. Oh, new skill. Oh, there we, there we go. Now we got them. Uh, speed fire tile placer, which will wrap this up quickly. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's it's just music to your ears when you hear that. All right, uh, let's see here. I'm missing one tile placement. Oh, there it was. Roof's almost ready. We need to put the tiles on top of the roof ridge there. Can I just do it from the middle? Or from inside, I should say? Yeah. Hey, there we go. We wrapped up the house. That's great. All right, let's check our results here. And once again, I am the master builder. 22 minutes to build this whole house. Uh, 12, uh, 1,200 experience. I walked over 2,300 meters. Uh, wow. And I got five stars, so I'm not going to complain. Not one bit.
All right, so that's going to wrap it up uh, for today. I thank you so much for watching this far into the video. I really appreciate it. If you can, leave a like uh, or subscribe if you haven't. Uh, those really help me out with growing this channel. So thank you so much once again, and please have a great day. Thank you so much. Goodbye.